Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Well, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me in today's Far Cry 5 video. I'm going to show you how to get 10 perk points really fast. First of all, what are perks? Perks are special skills you can get in Far Cry 5. Here we go. Let's go to the perk screen and you can scroll around and browse around and see all of these perks. These are all special skills that you can purchase with perk points to turn yourself into a better warrior. It's not really like a skill tree. Most of them, most of them, operative word most, are unlocked right away. All you need are perk points in order to buy them. How do you get perk points? Go to the challenges screen and you see you have all of these wide array of different challenges that you can complete in Far Cry 5. Complete any one of these challenges to earn some perk points. For example, get 10 melee kills to get one perk point. Get 10 handgun kills to get two perk points. Catch a rainbow trout to get a perk point. Skin a deer to get a perk point, etc., etc., etc. I'm going to show you in this video how to get 10 perk points really fast. What we're going to do is we're going to rescue three civilians, catch a rainbow trout, skin a deer, get 10 handgun kills, collect two perk magazines, and skin two turkeys. How long is that going to take? Is that two hours? Nope. One hour? Nope. Half an hour? Nope. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Let's get busy. Here we are right at the start of the game we just finished unlocking or rather liberating Dutch's region okay I'm assuming everybody is at this point of the game this is basically where the game starts where you're allowed to now free roam anywhere you want okay and I'm assuming that all you have or I'm assuming that you at least have a pistol and three hundred dollars typically I finished this area with nineteen hundred dollars but you need at least three hundred dollars to do this run right and you're at the central radio tower this is where you start off by default okay central radio tower all right let's get busy let's fast travel up to Dutch's bunker at Dutch's bunker it turns south and let's put a waypoint right about here we're looking for this tower right here. A couple of guys there, they got a civilian taken hostage. Let's tag them up. And kill them. We're on our way. We are now working on the handgun kills challenge. We're also going to work on the civilians rescue challenge, although unfortunately I've noticed that when you liberate or rather rescue civilians on Dutch's region, it doesn't work. It doesn't credit you like this guy here. Liberate. And if you check it out, there you go, it doesn't register. So you have to be off Dutch's region in order to do that. Okay, if you're wondering why that doesn't work, that's why it doesn't work. Let us loot these guys. Look down to the southeast, find yourself a general shop. It's one of those wandering shops. This may or may not spawn. 90% 90, 90 of the time it spawns. If it doesn't spawn, fast travel back to the ranger station or the central radio tower and get this quad here drive the quad down the road and that almost always makes this shop spawn i've never seen it fail driving the quad down the road okay at the general shop you don't have to do this but i highly recommend it go to your pistol and buy yourself a reflex scope okay it'll cost you 800 bucks if you don't have 800 bucks don't worry about that just skip that step but it would be a lot easier then go over to this star here and scroll on down buy yourself a fishing rod right now that costs you 300 bucks this is essential okay now that you got a fishing rod go along the shore here a little bit and you're going to do some fishing look for little pools of water see that like little that's where fish are cast out don't cast too far, because the farther you cast, the more you have to reel in. You just start reeling in. We got a hook, and let's reel the sucker in. Now it says oppose the fish's movement, but I find that it's better to go along with the fish's movement, because you reel him in faster. So if he's going left, go left. If he's going right, go right. And you end up reeling him in faster. 
in my humble opinion. See, there's right there. Oops, I broke him. Okay. <laughs> Try it again. There's the fish going for it. Got him. Figures I'm recording, I get the recording handicap, everything goes sideways. Here we go, we almost got him. There we go, we got a fish. That's what usually happens. Okay, so we just earned ourselves a prick point. Next, hook up your pistol. Look across to the northwest and find this boat here. It's kind of like, um, it's the Vasquez residence to be exact. Here, we're going to swim over there. And on the way, the game's going to give us a little in-game tutorial about perk points and challenges. There we go, challenge complete, complete rather, rainbow trout caught, one perk point awarded, and it's going to jump into this, you can pause the video and read this up if you so desire, this happens every time you complete a challenge for the first time, this is a one time deal, okay, so just go up here, click on perks, and you get this, and then you can just drop out, leave that perk point for now, we're not going to use it. Okay, that's enough out of you, Dutch. Around the back here, a civilian's taken hostage. Kill these two guys here. See the other guys coming around there. Come on. There we go. Down you go. You're dead. Didn't you get the memo? Atta boy. Liberate that guy. And this time we should get credit for rescuing a civilian. Go to challenges, scroll on down, just pass assault, and here we go, civilian rescued, all right? Go in the Vasquez residence and look for this perk magazine right here. This will give you a free perk, boom. Do a little bit of looting. Anyways, this is not about looting. Wait a minute, something over here. Yeah, this is not about looting. So what have we got now? We got two perk points. Those deer that appeared on the way are completely random, so that's why I left them alone. Let's go fast travel back to the central radio tower. And we're gonna skin a deer. Let's go along here, look for this truck. Use your binoculars to tag the deer. Try to go for a headshot and you'll kill him quickly. Wait till he calms down, goes to eat, got him right away, headshot, skin the deer and you get another perk point. Now we're up to three. You can loot this truck too, hit the switch, it opens up, go in here and you can swap out your crappy pipe for an aluminum baseball bat if you want. Get some other stuff here, some nitro and whatever. Read that if you so desire, but this is not about that. Next, let's go rescue another civilian right, boom, here at this point, southwest of the central radio tower. There may be two civilians down there. There's at least one, always. Here they are, right on the point there. Make sure you tag them up. Tag up the enemies so that you'll see them clearly when you're on the beach, when you arrive. Let's just go off to the right here. 
Let's see if we could tag up another civilian over here. Just beyond. There he is. Those two guys there, they might have another civilian. That's random though. There's always at least one, but there could be two. You need to rescue three civilians to get another two perk points. So let's swim on over here. Stick to the left so we can take him by surprise. enough out of you Dutch okay so we liberated, liberated that civilian let's check it out now we got two civilians rescued and those two other, other two enemies up there were not holding a civilian hostage that's no problem now let's continue to work on our handgun kills if we get 10 handgun kills we'll get two perk points Let's push down the shore here. Now we could blow that silo to get some resistance points, but this run is not all about that. There's a guy right there. Another handgun kill. Grab some explosives here and some grenades. Probably another couple guys over by the bridge. They may or may not be there because sometimes the trucks that come by kill them, <laughs> run them over. They're not the brightest bunch. And they've been alerted. And there we go. We've gotten 10 handgun kills. So we can have the two perk points. Now we have five perk points. Let's just leave this guy alone. Take down those trucks to get some supplies, but like I said, this is not about that. Go across the road here to the Garden View Orchards. Typically, there's a civilian here being held hostage, and this will be our third civilian rescued. There we go. Civilian rescued. That's a, that's always there. So now we have seven perk points. Make sure the area is clear. Go to this little wooden shack here. Hang on, hang on. No, leave that alone. Do a melee attack to kick in these wooden slats here and get another perk point magazine. Okay, a perk magazine. Now we have eight perk points. Let's just avoid that activity there. We don't really want to... Okay, we have no choice. Kind of busy here. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Little trigger happy. I accidentally killed a civilian. That's okay. We already got three civilians rescued. Okay, finally. Area is clear. Climb this tower. And we're looking for turkeys. Yeah, can engage in a little turkey shoot. There is one right there, I believe. And let's just go turn off this music here. Okay, we got a turkey tagged. Where's my turkey? Okay, I lost my turkey, that's okay. If you can't find your turkey and or no turkey spawned, just simply fast travel back to Garden View Orchards to reset the area. Okay, turn on your binoculars.
Can't find one. Let's climb the tower. There is one right there. Now what you can do is whack him with a baseball bat. And if you do that, you'll get double bait. Okay, turkeys always give up bait, at least one bait. But if you kill them with a melee weapon or a compound bow, you get double bait. And bait is always the bottleneck when it comes to like hunting skins for money. And I'm gonna do a whole video on how to make money really fast, okay? So there we go, we've got one turkey skins. We need two to complete this challenge. So let's just rinse and repeat. Fast travel back to Garden View Orchards. Okay, here we go again. Can't spot any right away. Let's climb the tower. There's one right there. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> yeah, and these things uh, are a force to be reckoned with, eh? And that's it. There we go, two turkeys skinned. Another perk point gained. And there's your 10 perk points. Okay, and it took me a long, little longer than 15 minutes because I had to do this to live commentary, but you get the idea. My best time was 12 minutes to get these 10 perk points, okay? What are the best first perks to get, Slack? What are the best first perks to get? If you just want to kind of like have a really good loadout and get out there and, you know, and be able to defend yourself well, I would strongly recommend that you get the additional holster perk first. This will allow you to carry two primary weapons um, at the same time. So you can carry like a sniper rifle and a shotgun at the same time. And with that, you'll be like ready to rock and roll. And if you want to know to where to get a free sniper rifle and a free shotgun, watch my free sniper rifle video and I'll show you exactly where you get both those weapons for free. Um, they're actually right in this area, okay? Watch that video, go to the playlist and you'll see that video, free sniper rifle, and you go see where to get a free sniper rifle and a free shotgun. But um, if you want to go for the goal, this is what I would do. I would strongly recommend that you get the Harvest Master perk and this will allow you to make a lot of money really fast. And that's the next video that's coming up. I'm going to show you how to make a ton of money really fast so you can buy some of the signature weapons right away. Like, for example, the 50 cal sniper rifle. You get that baby and you'll be styling, okay? That's what I recommend. So those are the two best perks, in my opinion, to get right off the bat. Get either additional holster or harvest master. And that is it for this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.